Hi again then guys and welcome to a type of unboxing and review video which I've actually wanted to do for quite some time now and it's as you saw from the title and from the thumbnail unboxing my Predator motorbike helmet. Now as I said I've wanted one of these for quite some time but to be 100% transparent the reason why I never actually picked one up in the years that they've been out was because I read some reviews, checked out some information to do with them and it looked as if there might be some safety concerns regarding whether or not these helmets would actually protect you in a crash or if they were not up to par. Now those issues may have been the case, I never actually purchased one back then so those may be 100% true, they may not. I can't say for certain, you'd have to ask other people there, people who actually did buy one. So what I've done instead is I waited a bit longer, I checked them out again and looked into the methods that the chap who builds them, Evgeny, uses to actually make his helmets now. I contacted him and asked him would there be some kind of scenario where I could check out his helmets and also potentially give those of you who watch and who like the idea of one a discount. And he said yes. So we've checked out the helmets, I also checked out some other people's reviews as well and of course I'd urge you to do that also, it's good to be well informed in a more rounded sense. But we're going to unbox it first, as I do with my model cars, take a look at it. I haven't unboxed it yet, of course. And then I'm going to show you one of the reasons why I'm actually happy with the methods that he uses now, compared to how it seemed to be different a few years ago. So here is the package itself. It's pretty big. It comes from Russia. Now, as far as production goes, before we even open the box, it takes him about four to six hours to make a helmet for you and you'll see one of the reasons why and it's a good reason as far as I'm concerned. If you want extra stuff like custom colors, tinted visors, those kind of things add to the price but as I said I've got a discount that I'm going to hook you guys up with or at least anyone who's interested in actually buying one and where you can contact him more directly than going through for instance eBay or stuff like that. So first of all we're going to take a look at the helmet unboxing it. I believe I'm, I just mentioned that it comes from Russia. So we have the Blade of Glory, as usual, and we shall take a look at this here beauty. So like I said, I've wanted one of these helmets for years, and uh, finally getting one was pretty cool. Plus, I think because his operation, I mean, I'm not sure if Evgeny's the only guy who makes them, but if he is, I've noticed a, a definite drop in price over the years. They used to be like seven or $800 when they first came out, whereas now you're looking at more like about $500, $550, that kind of price region. And I think that's a pretty good way of doing business because even certain car manufacturers like Tesla um, have done that as well, where their cars have initially cost more and then they'll go down over time. And it means that for those who want to be among the first exclusive people to get one, you get to be that, but for those who are willing to wait, you get the lower price. So either way, it's good business. So, for itself, just here, try and get all this styrofoam off. It's nicely packed, I will say that as well. Obviously, you don't want your helmet getting smashed on the way in. Now, as I said, it takes it takes him about um, four to six hours to custom spec one. And depending on where you are, of course, because I'm in the UK, it takes, or it took about 12 days. So if you want custom stuff done, it takes him a bit longer. But if you want stuff done that comes with like his regular options, as far as colors, visors, that kind of thing, then that will arrive quicker. And he's also got a number of different uh, a number of different designs as well. I'm going to put a link uh, in the description. In fact, probably a couple of links. The method that he likes people to use as far as purchasing them is from his Etsy store rather than eBay because on eBay he has to talk to each individual buyer and ask them what kind of options they want anyway. So it's not a very efficient system. eBay isn't really ideal for custom stuff. It's more like just bulk shipping friendly. Whereas he prefers people to use his Etsy store where he can just talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, talk about exactly what you want, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys in a second about getting the discount and how you'll work through that between me and him. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a better way, basically, if you use Etsy, because you don't have to use eBay Messenger. You can just do it in a more direct way. So you can see the dreads there. 
<laughs> hanging out the bottom. And he was telling me that he's recently changed his methods of making these. He's added a mesh surround on the dreadlocks, which gives it a more textured finish, looks a little bit more tribal, and also keeps everything together even better. Because obviously while you're riding, you don't want dreadlocks popping off. And if I recall, I believe that was one of the original issues that some people had way back in the day when these first started being produced because I can't recall how long exactly these have been uh, or, or that he's been making these now but it's been quite some time and uh, some of the original ones had those issues with stuff like the, um, the dreads coming off so enough chit chat you can see the top, skin texture, the colour. It's not some styrofoam nonsense, it's nicely made, nicely formed. Now the one that I went for, because as I said you can check out his Instagram, even check out uh, photos that he'll take himself to show you different ones, that he does different styles of Predator. Now as you can already see this one is the exposed uh, face, the skin of the Predator. But if you prefer, for instance, the metal plate face, you can go for that as well. Whereas for me, one of the things that really tipped the scale for me to get one was the fact that it was an open face design. So you can actually see the Predator's uh, face. So I'll try and take this off in such a way that you can see it. At the I mean, you can kind of <laughs> tell from the shape. And uh, if I can find the end, it may actually just pull off. <laughs> that looks pretty badass. <laughs> so we've got a nice texture, nicely made, no uh, flinging off while you're riding kind of thing. And one of the things that I like as well is how when I was originally looking at the design it really does look like it's completely ground up made um, you know custom like from a big official company facility factory floor kind of thing but from the impression that I get from him it's not it's basically just him maybe a couple of other guys but I think it's just him doing it and uh, I think the finish that he has considering is very impressive and I'm surprised that more people aren't trying to do this kind of thing maybe even with like a an alien version you know xenomorph but you know yeah it might look kind of weird riding around with that <laughs> people might get the wrong idea of what the head shape's supposed to be. <laughs> but it's got some little accoutrements on here, like little skulls hanging off. It's got some skulls on here as well. You've got the ghost biker advertising. Um, and yeah, the, the dreadlocks certainly seem to be in there better. There's the back view as well. You can see the dreads go all the way around. But here's one of the crucial things, speaking to the safety, speaking to the quality. If you pull the dreads aside, you can see why I'm actually impressed with what he does. Because this is an actual regular motorbike helmet. Now in normal circumstances, you can't really see that while you're riding. And you can, certainly couldn't tell from the front. It looks like he's got probably a custom visor plate, all that kind of stuff. But the reality is underneath, this helmet is based on an existing motorbike helmet. And I think that is a pretty genius way of doing it. Because it means that inside, it's not the most pretty thing around. But I mean, sorry to break it to you, if you look at the inner body panels of a Mercedes, they don't exactly look pretty. So being inside, you can see the kind of finish on the resin. Give you a closer view for those who are interested. It's all this tough stuff inside as well. It's not foam. And it's built on, as you can kind of tell, an open face, more touring style helmet. Or even like a borderline, you know, cafe racer kind of helmet. Like full open face, little cannonball helmet kind of thing that you see the guys wearing. Regular strap. I've gone for this one in, I think it's a 2X or something like that. But from the pictures that I saw and from the issues that people seem to have, I don't think his original ones use this method. Because they seem to have styrofoam inside, or at least it looked like that. And it wasn't like this. It was like actual styrofoam back here that looked more like a uh, bicycle helmet. So I'm not sure if that was the case or not, but regardless of if it was, it ain't now. This is a proper helmet. Oh yeah, it is 2XL. 
and uh, obviously I'll give it a try. And as you can see from the inside, the visor itself is actually slightly larger than the actual eyes. So it's really the front face that gives everything else the proportion and the way of looking at it that makes it more effective. Now some things I might maybe make changes to myself, like maybe taking a little skull off of there, but you can ask him all of that stuff as well. I decided to go for it to just see the, the full package and leave it as it was. But yeah, I, I love the way it looks. It looks fantastic, the paint color. You can get different colors as well, as I said, but those will take him a bit longer. Depends what he's got in stock. I think he's got more of a greenish one as well. This is more of the like pale whitish, maybe really pale tint of green, or at least to my eye. But obviously I'm not the most accurate when it comes to what I can see. So we'll give it a try. Tip them upside down. Still hoping that none of the dreads fall out, but it seems like production or production quality is better. I like the amount of dreads as well. It's not like he's got two here and then nothing at the back. There's a good amount of dreads. So with the hair that I've already got, fitting in a helmet isn't always easy. <laughs> but we shall see. I'm hoping I can adjust it a bit longer. <clears throat> and we shall try on and see how it looks. And another thing that I like about this helmet, I could just leave it like that. <laughs> another thing that I like about this helmet is because of the design of the mouth, there's actually more room for guys like me who have a beard. Because with a regular motorbike helmet, it always annoys me how my beard literally sticks like this much out underneath the helmet. Whereas because this has this area, you can kind of put your beard inside its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> which is just that extra bit of practicality. Okay, so I'm hoping that the audio still works well enough to hear me. I can't do it up underneath at the moment. I think I need to try and adjust it to be a bit longer. But as you can see, mobility is good. You might be able to see beard underneath or whatever. As far as inside the helmet, obviously you can't put the face up, but it doesn't do that. Visor visibility is very good. It's you know completely mirrored from the outside, but from the inside, it's not. So you can actually see very well. It's kind of like looking out the window of a submarine. Because <laughs> obviously I can see the inside of the mouth section, the white inside here and I can see just underneath the forehead surround because it's like looking out the porthole of a, of a submarine but uh, overall I think it looks pretty good so yeah I like the way the dreads fall and this size that I've got obviously suits me because I'm a bigger wider guy anyway so a 2x is perfect for me actually and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that <laughs> <clears throat> now the visor steams up a little bit if you talk inside or if you laugh especially any breathy kind of thing but you can say that about most mo motorbike helmets so just in case the audio isn't picking me up that well I'll continue talking without it on <laughs> but um, yeah it, it steams up a bit if you get breathy in there but as I said you can say that about the vast majority if not all of motorbike helmets that have a closed visor so yeah, I actually like it more than the helmet that I already had, to be honest, in terms of space. I was worried that it wouldn't fit, because I've got a big spud, and fitting my head inside of uh, most helmets is usually not claustrophobic, but it's usually a bit of a squeeze, especially when you've got the hair at the back, the beard at the front. But I have to say, this one's very good <laughs> for fitting inside, and obviously you need to pick the right size because the head is so big. So you need to make it proportional to your body, otherwise you'll look like a bobblehead. <laughs> Thankfully for me, that, that doesn't happen. It probably looks a bit like it's sitting down, especially with black. But uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm probably going to get um, some full white or black and white leathers to go with the colours. I've already got black and white gloves. And uh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if you are interested in one of these, because if you couldn't tell, I'm going to say that the review for this is the verdict for the review is I'm impressed I'm very happy with it some things like this they look the part and then they're actually not but other things are and for me this is <laughs> now as far as hooking you up with that discount the discount depends on the price of the thing 
or the price of the, the spec that you get basically. So as I said, this tinted visor would usually be more. He hooked me up because it was the review and all that. But you've got standard visor, tinted visor, like solid black or whatever, or reflective visor with multiple colors, that kind of stuff. And choosing the different one, like colored adds like $15. So it's not a huge difference. But um, yeah, stuff like that adds. If you want a, a custom paint job, obviously that will be more. I wasn't too interested in that. Uh, you can choose different dread colors. I wanted the gold. You can get silver fixtures as well, which would actually look pretty nice with the white, but I wanted the gold. I think the mouth tone and the teeth tone can be slightly different. You can have more whiter teeth. Uh, the mouth tone may be a darker red or maybe more of a green. He's available to do all that kind of stuff. As I said, depends how difficult or how custom it is. It'll take him a bit longer. As far as build quality, I like it. It's good. It's good quality stuff. The helmet underneath is already DOT approved. So as far as safety goes, it's pretty good. I think the only thing that will take a bit of getting used to is the view from inside the helmet out because usually when you look out of a motorbike helmet you've got a massive visor and you can't really see much of the helmet whereas looking out of this you can kind of see from the eyes this is more like looking out of a like a dirt bike helmet where you can see the visor above you the chin coming out in front this is similar to that which isn't necessarily a bad thing because vis visibility is still good it's just a little bit more like wearing a scuba mask rather than a full open face helmet but uh, I actually quite like that. I like the way it feels, I like the way it looks. There is a ton of space in here, which is really cool for, as I said, beard use. Um, I don't really like having helmets right up on my chin, whereas the rest of it holds your head, of course, legally, because that's the design of the, of the regular helmet underneath. So what I was saying about getting the discounts, this one, for instance, in this spec is about $550. So he gave me $55 off, because what he's hooking me up with and hooking you guys up with as well is a 10% off discount which doesn't sound like a huge amount but 10% off is like $50 or even more if you go for like the extra tinted visor under usual circumstances that would be $570 so that would be even more money off so it works out pretty well if you're in the market for a very cool I mean, let's be honest, badass looking helmet. And uh, as far as how to do that, as I said, I've put the links to his Instagram and to his Etsy store um, in the description below. So what you wanna do is go to his Etsy store um, and contact him however you want to. You know, he, he messaged me through uh, WhatsApp and you know, that'll be for him and you to decide how you talk to him. And, um, then all you need to do is you know, tell him that you're interested in buying a helmet or whatever, the kind of spec that you want, he'll go through that with you as he did with me, and then quote him the discount code HSG. And then what I want you to do after you've done that is to screen cap that part of the message, not just HSG, but you know, screen cap that image of you messaging him the discount code and email that over to me. And then that will complete the loop. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this as far as, uh, as, far as it currently goes. And uh, I plan to be using this all the time as far as biking goes. So I am very happy with it. I'm also very happy that the prices are like $300 lower than if I'd have bought one about four or five years ago. Quality is up, prices are down. It's kind of a no brainer and it looks badass. This in particular, the open mouth, was really the thing that finally got me to buy one. Because before I was always interested, but I thought, you know what, it's a predator. Can we not have an open face? And now that he's finally done that, I'm all in. So I'm very happy with this. It's extremely cool. And yeah, an analytical reviews aside, I think it looks amazing. The quality is impressive. And especially if it is a one-man show, you're doing a good job. <laughs> so check him out, use the discount code. As I said, send me the screen cap to complete the loop business-wise between me, you, and him. And yeah, so I can definitely recommend it. So if you have stuck around for the whole review, I hope you enjoyed it. And I've certainly enjoyed unboxing it and reviewing it myself. But for now, as always, 